Some plugins for Photoshop Elements are self-installing. They um, extract and install themselves into uh, an Adobe folder in Photoshop Elements. And I'm going to show you how to do that on a sample one here, and I'm running on a Vista machine. This is a uh, setup for Virtual Photographer, and I'm going to double click on it. And uh, as in happens often in Vista, you'll have this um, program uh, box come up and you'll have to allow the installation and then it comes back to the non-grade area and when you get to the portion of the installation, this is taking a while, I have too many things running on my computer I'm going to accept the agreement. I'm not going to actually install this all the way. I just want to show you. When you get to this part of the installation instructions, it wants you to browse to the folder where you will put this uh, installation. And this is similar in many of these type of self-installing uh, plugins. And what you want to do is go to your C drive and then program files then find Adobe and then find the version of the elements that you're installing it in. In this case I've been doing it into 7 and then you will go to plugins and then filters and then click OK. And uh, this is the similar path for uh, many different self-installing uh, plugins, but I would suggest reading the installation instructions that come with uh, the self-installing program. And then you would just continue on and it puts it uh, where it needs to go. And this path is also in the written tutorial. And so once these are installed, you can find them right here under the filter drop down menu and here's the virtual photographer which I had already installed earlier and when I click on it it opens up and I can um, change my fruit salad to all sorts of uh, various cool changes uh, photographic styles is what it calls it here and so it's as easy as that you just have to remember to direct it to the right path and I hope this uh, little mini tutorial has been a help to you